It's working. Make sure it went on time lapse. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to the Southern IA. It's a different kind of heyday. It's the time of year where you carry stuff like this around in your truck. If you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm gonna tell you. It's cabin season. And uh, that's tags. I've been tagging our calves this year for the first time. I've never done that before. And uh, I'm looking forward to them being tagged so you can identify them. And anyway, it's just a good deal. So let's get started. <clears throat> so my morning routine right now consists of feeding those guys. We've already sold our spring calvers from last year, about 10 days ago or so. Pretty good market for us. But these are our fall calvers from last fall that I've gotten a lot. So we start out by feeding them. So this year, I'm feeding a mixture of corn, oats, and uh, protein. Feed the little pellets, that's, that's the protein. So, we're feeding them, oh, roughly 100 pounds or so. I feed every morning, so we'll get to it. We got 12 buddies out here, as I call them. They're pretty excited for their morning breakfast. I got another buddy over here I'll show you, introduce you to. Hey, George. Hey, buddy. So this is my buddy, George. Last year's cattle video. I think I introduced you. Oh. You excited, buddy? I introduced you to George. He was my bottle calf, ladies calf. It's a lot of calves, but I was asking for names for bulls. Cause I'm gonna keep him for a breeding bull. That's why he's in here by himself. The big boys are over there and they'd be rough on him. And we don't want him in there with the heifers. So George here, he had a buddy up until about a week ago. A butcher calf we fed in here too, but he's doing good. But anyway, I decided to go with the presidential theme to name my bulls. So he's my first one I've kept, so he got the name George. Simple as that. So after I feed the Paul calves and George, I take some feed out to our bulls, keep them in good shape and healthy, so. Come the 1st of June, they're ready to rock and roll. It's always nice when people are excited to see you and glad you come by every day. These aren't people, but they're excited to see me every day. It can be a challenge to dump it in there without dumping it on top of their heads. So out here, I call this the nursery. Can't see any. Hey, little bugger. There's a little bugger, there's a little bugger, there's a bugger, there's a bugger. All the little buggers and their mamas. But we're fixing to go feed, is where we're calving them. Then we're spitting them out here, so they have lots of wide open spaces. But yeah, they don't like me getting too terribly close. But the, the mamas and the babies, they're all out here. We got six of them out here right now. 
soon to be seven, Lord willing. Maybe more if we had more. Back to being around people that like to see and are excited. It's my lovely assistant, by the way. My wife, Rebecca. But these cows, they don't get out of your way. We did have a little baby last night. We'll, uh, maybe more, but it's exciting. We'll, uh, we'll feed hay over here and then go check them out. Got the little core of the bale there and if possible i like to dump it in a little waterway like this right here help fill it in slowly over time versus letting it erode away a little hay here will help slow the water down which just helps with that but this is second cutting grass clover fairly prime stuff they uh, they like to eat it now on to the exciting stuff there's two new ones there's one from last night and uh, or I mean one from yesterday afternoon two from last night cool beans <laughs> this is a cute little red angus it's marked like the angus but it's the red of the herford because we had a herford bull and an angus bull out here so we'll see how this goes See this one? He's all white faced. Got the white belly. This one has much less white on him. Her. That's the Angus gene coming out. Why it's red, I don't know. But it is. You can see the bag's been sucked on. We're in good shape. For now, we're expecting some rain this tomorrow and then this weekend. So in preparation of not being unable to unroll bales in the field the way I'd like to, I'm gonna fill rings. So we got two rings out here, so we'll fill these fill these rings up and the cows will be good for several days. So 
We'll get at it. That's what I like to call hole in one. You could call this round two. Second herd. What you're gonna see out here is mostly black calves. There's one Hereford calf, but we bought the, that cow. That was bread. So I had a black bull out here with this herd. I'll show you some black baldies. I declare. If they had net wrap in Bible times, it would have been one of the plagues on the Egyptians. I declare. The best and worst things you can have is net wrap. It does an amazing job keeping bales, but it's a pain in the neck to deal with after you take it off. One more bale for these guys. And this is gonna be our bedding bale. It's uh it's straw and new seeding. Mostly oat straw. We baled up, it's got a little bit of seeding in it, but the cows love to lay on it. it makes a good place for them to bed down and have the babies or just lay on. They'll eat quite a bit of it too, but we put it down here and it a protected spot down here by the trees so they can get out of the weather and get stay up off the ground stay a little drier a little warmer so we're gonna bed these guys up and then get out of dodge except we're not in dodge but you get the idea
just have bailed down the ditch probably. That's what good cows do. So we got a good count on these guys, but we're still gonna make a hot loop, make sure everything's good, and then uh, catch you later. Well, I'm back home for lunch right now. I got the skid loader loaded up on the trailer. I'll show you what I'm doing with that here after a bit. But I wanted to give you an update on Lady. This, this here's Lady. This is my bottle calf. And she's a sweetie. Aren't you a sweetie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You sweetie. But I've raised her from day one. We lost her mama, but we was able to save her. This is the mother of George. I showed you George earlier. Look at that. Laying her head on my lap. Ish. She's pretty neat. She's fun to have around. Yeah, she's just laying here chilling. She does have a buddy way over yonder. I got a heifer out here that we kept back last year, so. They're putties and they're pals. Just buddies. They're buddies. But they're here at the house. It's pretty fun to watch them. We got a little grass right here. And they run around. They provide entertainment. She is bred with her second calf. Yeah, it'll be coming on. Another month, month and a half, probably. So, she, I bred her a little bit later than the rest of the cows. Anyway, we'll catch you after lunch. So, skid loader, the bale stabber on it. Hey, pile. Where I don't want it. That was our CRP bales we put up this year. And I really thought we'd feed them all. We went through quite a bit less feed this winter, except for about, oh, about two, three weeks here in January. We used way less feed. So anyway, this is kind of interrupts the flow of everything right here. We're just inside the gate. So I'm going to move it. And that's kind of like watching paint dry. But as part of what I'm doing today, right across the road from the black calf farm, they're over there just chilling out watching me. So anyway, pitter patter, let's get at her. My last task of the day is hauling some water to these girls. Got a 300 gallon tote. Got a 300 gallon tank on the ground. Fill it as needed, once or twice a day. There is water in the ditch, but this is better, cleaner, easier for them, so that's why we do this. There was one cow here this morning that I wanted to find and make sure she's either A, okay, or B, had a cat. So, I'll let you know how that goes. We gotta empty this tank first. A cow I was looking for, worried about, Number 35, there she is, and there's her baby, cute little bugger, tag that one number 17, so 35 had 17, that's three for today, and four in the last 24 hours, I'll take it, bring it on, well, it's Mid to late afternoon at this point. Got done with the skid loader and all that work, put it all away. So I'm um, I'm out here gonna walk through the cows one more time tonight. See if anything's happening. Call it an evening here pretty quick. So I just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with us and showed you what the day in the life was like, more or less. Don't always have two calves in the same pen, pasture. But uh, we did this morning, which was great. We got them moved. Everything seems to be good. I've got an audience. 
Calves over there, cows behind me. Bulls over there. Everybody's laying around chewing their cud. Feeling pretty good, so. Anyway, I don't think I have much to say other than thanks for watching and uh, appreciate Ben letting me swipe the channel for a video. So, until next time, see you later. I got it.